And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Fate. Uh, this is going to be um, our new deck here where we're going to be trying out the new Pilfered Goods card that now costs three mana. We're going to be trying to combine that with Heimerdinger. And so we're going to be playing this, this Heimer Fate deck uh, that we played about 25 days ago and did well with. But we're going to see how it is in the new metagame. The new metagame is a lot more aggressive with large creatures with the Noxus stuff, which I think could be a problem for our deck. But against, you know, hopefully we get paired against slower decks, because against slower decks, we can just outgrind them. Our two champions are wonderful at, at outgrinding with Twisted Fate and Heimerdinger. Um, and yeah, now Heimerdinger has a whole bunch of three mana spells that we're able to play in these regions now that we have Pilfer Goods in here also. Um, and so that'll be kind of exciting to to try out. Uh, we're playing a rummage in here that we didn't have last time. Last time we played this about 25 days ago, we had a, one Mind Meld as <laughs> just a, a silly card at the top end. And yeah, it's not too necessary. So we're going to be playing a rummage here where we, we'll draw extra cards like Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods like from them. And sometimes we don't get to play them all or maybe pick a card. It gives us like some fleeting stuff that we don't get to use. And we can rummage them away. And the rummage is also great for leveling up Twisted Fate. So yeah, let's play some Heimer Fate. Let's give this deck a try. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. And hopefully do pretty well. And then after this, we got a Bilgewater Elusive deck. That's Championless. Mostly all Ionia, but instead of like a Noxus at Elusives, it's a Bilgewater, and so it's going to have both Pilfered Goods and um, uh, and the new 3-mana three 3-3, three, three, the card that was a Solitary Monk. I could, couldn't think of it. Um, now instead of having Solitary Monk be a 4-3, you're going to be a 3-3, three, three. so we're, we'll be able to try out both of those cards. You know, trying out the the new cards that got nerfed right away. Hey, nice Phil. Yeah, I really like Jaw Hunters. I like Jaw Hunters a whole bunch. This would have been a perfect turn to go Mystic Shots. Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods. But we don't get to do all of that anymore. I'm still going to use Mystic Shot and Merchant. And then... Yeah, and now this thing dies to Blade's Edge. And then we we free up a mana slot for Zap Spray Fin. Right, so now we have... Now we have this extra one free for the Attune. So we already saw... Um, one downside. We already saw one downside to the Pilfer Goods because before, you know, even just a, a few hours ago, we would have been able to cast that Pilfer Goods with the Black Market Merchant in play and steal two more cards. Swain's down. Two Swain's down. Um, I could just use double gotcha to take out this one. Oh, 
lost a fair game. We'll play one. It's a little risky. I'm going with blocking with a 3-2 and then using one gotcha instead of using two gotchas. Okay, well, we're up a card. Eminently logical. At least, yeah, at least we've killed all three so they, they don't get any back with Leviathan or anything. Strong arm? Oh my gosh, strong arm is so good. We can go put the Leviathan in our hands. We will have to have Plunder turned on. Good. I'm doing that right right away so I can just cast Pilfer Goods. I want to play Pilfer Goods pre-combat. I don't know where they're using Blade's Edge on the Heimerdinger. They can kill the 3 1. I mean, I guess, you know, like they're going to use Blade's Edge plus Ravenous Flock. Like, that's what they're going to be doing. Discard a gotcha. Yeah. Yoink. We're pirates. We go yoink. Thank you. Take that. We don't have any Swains to go draw. What you looking for? Rolls at six out of eight. Mm, they needed static shock. That should do it with the Leviathan. Deal an extra damage. Oh no, double Ravenous Flock? Okay. Okay. They're still in there. We're going under. They're still in there. For a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm always up for a round or two. All right, GG's. Hyrule Fate one and zero after taking out Swain back to back to back turns, and then Leviathan.
We gotta upgrade these. Um, you and uh, you and no, not you. You. Yeah, they would have had that static the previous turn. They would have had a better shot. All right, the Nivea Brom. That Nivea card is pretty good. The chance of this pickpocket hitting them is very small, but if it does hit them. That would be great. It would have been even better if I would have been able to play both Pilfer Goods. What's that noise? Uh, what do you mean? So does no one mess with turn one cards at all? What do you mean? Like, we do have one mana cards in our deck. We haven't drawn any, but... We have some in our deck. Check out the goods on this one. You have to get me out of here. Uh, like our turn one cards worth having much of. I mean, depends on your type of deck. And, um. You know, it depends on your type of deck and, and the card, whether they will be impactful enough or not. So we're letting this happen. We are up a card, but they have these two little spiders. But we're going to clear out those spiders. Um, hmm. That's really not ideal for me. It's really not ideal. That hurts. This very could well be the turn that my opponent just won this game. New Brahm's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could play six Omen Hawks. Man, they just have a new Brom. Alright, gonna try to kill this Braum. Not gonna work. It's a lot easier to fire off these pilfer goods at two mana than three. It's a big difference, you know, just when you're thinking of two of them, because it's either four, four mana or six, and that's, it's so much easier to have four mana than it is to have six mana. When we're talking about firing off <coughs> multiples. 
Like I could, like if this was the old Pilfer Goods, I would just level up Twisted Fate right here. Come on. Man. Our Braum was just the worst champion, and now look at how Braum just completely dominated this game. Crazy. My Used to be the worst lost. champion. My wings, the bitter winds. And Braum is your wingman. And Nivea was like the second worst. Uh. Well, that works. Now this game's heating up. Problem is, I don't know how we're going to kill a Braum, and they're just going to keep on getting tons of Mighty Poros. So, this is going to be tough. Strike down. Got a hard job to evade. Nothing like a stink of blood and sweat. Eyes open. Have a hard job. That could be a card. That could be a card. Yeah, I could see New Brom having 4 HP instead of 5. I could see that. Not gonna be easy. Hmm. I forgot that's burst. It's just gonna happen. It's love.
Gotta trust your instincts. You weren't using it. Oh, I'm pretty sure they were using that. Wish we could have that red card resolve first. So I started with the pilfer goods first, thinking, you know, like pilfer goods goes on the stacks and you know like all this other stuff to resolve. Should have thrown this hapless aristocrat out of there. Forgot about that pick a card. Should have thrown that hapless aristocrat out. Um. Part of the game. Where it's basically impossible to beat them if they just have you know these more rekindlers and anivias and you know if they have that part of their deck, they're they have like the the part of their deck that's all the removal spells and the early game stuff, it's okay, but they have the the champions and the rebuy their champions. Very hard. Turn four, Braum. Plus Glimpse Beyond. Turn five, Braum. Plus, um, you know, and then and then the next turn having the Fury of the North to protect Braum, and then the turn after that having another Fury of the North to protect Braum again. Braum just dominated that game. Yeah, yeah, the lab's really weird. So every single game is different with your lab, right? Like you 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 play a lab game and you mulligan for your champions and then uh, play a new lab game, mulligan, get new champions and stuff like that, right? It's not like a it's not like a format like where you play until you win you win 7 or lose 2. Correct? Okay, yeah, different each time. I just I'm not sure what I'm going to make for my thumbnail then for for that format you know for like my YouTube thumbnail like what what I don't know what arts I'm gonna use for the YouTube thumbnail or if I'm just gonna have if I'll just have like one lab thumbnail the ocean whispers our secrets But 
then I don't I don't want to have like the same lab thumbnail that I would use every single time I play a lab. Because then I don't, won't really differentiate them. I'm really not sure what to do about that. Thumbnail can be the six Heimer emotes you get for the match. Round and round and round it goes. Push back the darkness. It's smaller than a diagram. Navigator's been giving me trouble. I don't really have a very good red card, or red card just gets rid of two damage from Misfortune. Or sorry, gold card gets rid of two damage from Misfortune. Red card just gets rid of three damage from all of these. Dimensions don't determine themselves. the serpent blue card gets me another spell No, I don't. But I, I do need a, I do need an emote artist, bit, bit night. I need new emotes. You're covered. So we'll have the gotcha. Oh, I didn't consider that. I should have used the gotcha while I had priority to kill the island navigator. Easy. Did not consider that. leveling up. Yeah, so it's, it's five either way whether I block with that or not. I go to five. Um. Smell that? 
to cook it. All right, gold card stun misfortune, so they can't attack with that with the overwhelm. Definitely needed to do that. Oh, come on. Two. You can make emotes. Sure, yeah. Just send me send me a whisper on here, arts, and I'll get back to you after streaming. I'll probably get back to you tomorrow, honestly. So yeah, so no rush. Does you don't have to do it immediately right now. Um. But yeah, you can feel free to share some of your work. Let me know how much they cost. Stuff like that. I need emotes and the... Um, uh, i do this. And then, like, the, the tie badge. Like, that badge. I need new badges, also, that, that people have, like, the sub-badges. Because those don't really look like ties too well. I want something that, that looks more like a tie than that does. This is going to be a good test. Good test if we can handle a Noxus deck. We've been, I've been keeping Pilfer goods and they've been just staying in my hand, not doing anything for a long time. So I'm going to mulligan Pilfer goods against the more aggressive Noxus deck. trade pickpocket for that thing. I'll just trade Jagged Butcher for that thing. Everything's in place. Say your farewells. Look what you did. This Noxus deck is really good. Noxus cards are really good. It's definitely worried that we are going to be too slow for them. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. have Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance, get excited, mana. We ride for Noxus. What seems to be the problem? It has to be a 6-4. But why? Run up down. In position. I love a taste of the action. Stop on me. Anticipated outcome. Why a 6 4?
we have kind of found this is awkward of wanting to make wanting to cast pilfer goods to make a turret to be able to attack for them for another three but then also wanting to be able to take two cards with the turret that has been an awkward dance that we've been um doing here in these games so they have Darius, I'll Thermogenic Beam it, if not... I didn't want them to have Darius. I have my orders. Oh, gotta do that. Yeah, the... yeah. I have to agree with you, Joe. The Pilfer Goods at 3 mana has, has been pretty awkward and has definitely been a... a a downgrade even with being able to make 3 1 turret it's it's been pretty rough at in a lot of spots for us and it's the thing is like these bilgewater decks are already struggle like they struggle against noxus before this because of how large these noxus units are already did struggle against noxus and now with uh, for goods being additional mana has been even more rough. I have my orders. It's smaller than the diagram. This will shake them. Let's boogie. The hunter. Patch came through a couple hours ago. Not too long ago. Almost got there. We should keep pick a card. We should keep pick a card. I like that. I like that too. All right, we just want to draw Heimerdinger. I got the goods. So Kempunk pickpocket is the reason why I kept Mystic Shots. Draw Heimerdinger. Okay. We're doing it. You name it, I'll nick it. We are doing it. Well, that's unfortunate. Save me, Luke. Not the card I wanted to play to get rid of another Kempunk pickpocket. Yeah, the two Ds are donation decks. That means uh, viewers donated to see them played on stream. Usually it means a viewer built donation deck. This one was um, a deck we played about a month ago. Here comes the punchline! Alright, gonna go gold card. I know I could go Heimerdinger with multiple turrets, but 
I don't want to play Heimerdinger um, because they could just challenge Heimerdinger with buy and kill Heimerdinger, and I don't want that to easily happen. Make them work a little bit for killing Heimerdinger. Make them work a little bit. I'm not going to cast that six drop. Just timer things. Just timer things. You play Heimerdinger. People say, oh, you have to kill Heimerdinger right away. Well, they use removal on Heimerdinger right away, and I just put nine power into play. Because Heimerdinger is fair and balanced. I don't need a Even though I'm just putting one additional 3-1 into play, it just puts more pressure on them. Yeah, and we still had Heimer. So their removal spell was just Will of Ionia. No one, I tell you. No one. As a removal spell that could have gone towards one of my turrets. But it went to the Heimerdinger, and now I have an extra turret. Our, our hand was definitely good with having Heimerdinger. But I do feel like this is the kind of matchup that we could match up well against. I do feel like our Bilgewater cards with Twisted Fate may be better than the Ionia cards. And just specifically in the mirror match. I remember last time we won one or two games against Vimerdinger with this deck. Um, but I like the, you know, like your, I like having the like Pilfer Goods and Zap Spray Fin and Twisted Fate. I like those kind of cards in that mirror. And obviously, Black Market Merchant too. So I could I could see that being a a pretty decent match for us. Obviously, you're not going to win 100% of them. It's going to be if, you know, either player goes crazy with Heimerdinger, they're going to win. Like, what happened there, that that uh, other that game with us going crazy with Heimerdinger. But I feel like our... Um, if you just kind of even out the crazy Heimerdinger games, um, I feel like in that kind of matchup, having access to Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, Twisted Fate, um, even Sprayfin, finding you you know, drawing you those cards and pick a card, drawing you cards and stuff like that is probably better than what the Ionia um, decks are doing for that uh, for that kind of matchup. So if at the end of the month, if Noxus stuff gets nerfed and then these kind of decks pick up in popularity, control decks pick up in popularity, 
Um, I've, I've really liked different combinations of PNZ and bilge water stuff against control decks. Um, so there we go. That's, that's a uh, Heimer fate. Um, you know, it's, it's tough to kill those large Noxus things. They're just so efficient and Crimson Disciple being so efficient. It, it's tough to keep up with that kind of aggro stuff, but against a lot of the other Ionia and PNZ control decks, I like where you're at. The Shadow Isle, you know, like your Brahma Nivea, that's still kind of tough too because Brahma is so hard to deal with and can get so much value. And then same with the Nivea, also really hard to deal with. So like that, that is a control deck that is difficult for us. Um, but uh, I like us against the other Ionia, PNZ kind of decks. All right, uh, that's it here for Heimer Fate, though. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of 3-mana Pilfered Goods, if you've been trying out 3-mana Pilfered Goods. Has it been looking really awkward for you as well? Uh, yeah, let me know in those comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.